Hey guys, happy August. I, this summer, I've got to tell you, has been my favorite summer by a long shot in my entire memory. Just having my kids and being able to spend time with them and be playing outside and they're both old enough now that we can do some more things. Donnie's down to one nap a day so they both just nap in the afternoon and we've gone on several adventures near and far. We've traveled quite a bit already this summer and it's just been a blast. It really has been. So I thought to switch things up just a little bit that I would do a themed favorites video for you because like I mentioned, we have been traveling quite a bit. So I thought, why not do a travel themed favorites? Now, before we get into it, you might hear some ambient noise. I don't know how much the camera will pick up, but we're having our mudroom floor replaced. Not exactly. We're covering our mudroom tile with a vinyl. Um, and I will definitely show that to you guys at some point in time um, to better match the new tones. You know, in the last couple of years, we kind of changed the tones of our house to be um, more cool tone than warm tone. And there was this like cream tile in there before, beigey cream. And now we're changing it to the same flooring I have, we had put in our, um, in our closet, in our bedroom here. The vinyl that looks like wood, but it's like a gray toned wood. Anyway, that's happening today, but this is my only chance to film. Uh, so I, I gotta, I gotta just march on through. Okay, so travel themed favorites. Oh, I forgot the first thing. Hold on. I'm gonna cover just a wide range of things, but kind of in the similar vein to my normal favorites, where I just tell you about some clothes and accessories, personal favorites, food, that sort of thing. Kind of in those categories, but more travel, obviously travel centric. So for clothes and accessories, I bought a new pair of pants this summer. These are capris. Uh, I was looking for something really lightweight. I have a pair of pants from Prana that I've had for years now that I love, but they're full length pants and they're this kind of lightweight, e quick to dry, easily packable and wearable, I don't even know what to call them, like nylon, I, something like that. Um, synthetic, right? And well, yeah. And they're just so comfortable, but I wanted a capri length, um, like a crop. So I found these on Zappos by Royal Robins, and I'll pop in a picture because you're gonna be like, what the heck does that look like? And I believe they're the Royal Jammer, wait, I made a, have my list here. Uh, the Royal, no, Royal Robins Jammer Capri. I love these. I wore these on our last two trips for traveling and I love them. I will say though, I did not buy the right size. Um, I bought my usual size and they fit perfectly right out of the box and then they just stretch out. They have a lot of give to them. They have a, you know, they're very stretchy and they just stretch out so much and they get so, so big by the end of the day. And even now after washing, they're still a little big, even right out of the dryer. Um, so I think I would size down. I might actually buy myself another pair and pass these along to somebody else because I love them so much and I don't want them to be so droopy. But they are awesome. They're so nice to wear, especially during the heat, traveling in summer. Um, they um, work, they look like pants, but they feel like you're wearing pajamas. And it's just so nice. And they have pockets, they have side pockets and butt pockets and all the pockets you need, right? Um, but they're so great and you can get them wet and they dry really fast. So they might be a good like splash pad park kind of option. I love them. I had to recommend them. I really wanted to share with you a jacket favorite because I think having for summer travel a layering option that is water and wind resistant is really helpful, but also lightweight. So I have this lightweight jacket from Stitch Fix. I believe it's Market and Spruce is the brand I've had for years. I haven't um, subscribed to Stitch Fix in quite a while, though I did love it while I was using it. And it's like one of those anoraks, I think they're called. So it's just cloth, but it has a hood and it's lightweight. And that's what I've been traveling with. And it's okay, but I think ideally, I want something that is water resistant to wear as a, you know, a supplemental layer to bring on the plane so it packs up real small so I can just throw it in like a tote bag or in my backpack when I'm traveling, but also works as like an all around jacket. So if any of you have any recommendations for that, that is what I'm really looking for and I would appreciate any input. Again, I want it to be very, very lightweight, like windbreaker style, but not like swishy. <laughs> I don't know if such a thing exists, but 
It's gotta, right? It's gotta. For personal care, if you've been following me for a little while, you guys know that over the years I've had quite a fondness bordering on mm, slight obsession with pouches and cases. I love a really good pouch. And it took me a long time to find my favorite. My favorite to date, and I'm sharing that with you today. It's the little Sport Sack Cosmetic Cases. These are the best. They are the best. I have these I've had for several years, and they were collaborations with Rifle Paper Company, which I also love. Um, sadly, these exact prints are not available, but the Sport Sack still makes these exact um, pouches in a variety of different patterns. They do collaborations with different other you know, brands and whatever all the time. Um, hopefully they'll do another Rifle Paper Company one at some point because they're the best. So my makeup year round lives in this. Like, this is my everyday makeup and this I keep on my counter. Um, it's just, this is the extra large rectangular cosmetic. It really fits a lot. It has two um, slip pockets on one side and one kind of long skinny one on the other. Um, and it's just, they're so, you can throw these in the washing machine. I would air dry them, but they do wash up great in the washing machine on delicate, on cold, I would do. I also have the just regular rectangle, rectangular cosmetic case. This is what I keep all my travel skincare in. I've really whittled down my skincare routine, especially when traveling. Like, this is basically pretty much all that I bring with me. Um, it's all, of course, decanted in smaller bottles. But So I keep all my skincare in one, all of my makeup in another, and then kind of all my other toiletry type things like deodorant, my brush, um, shampoo and conditioner if we're traveling to some place where it's not a hotel or where it's not provided, lotion, my razor, my like dental, you know, like floss and my toothbrush and stuff like that. So that all fits in here great. And you can really pack these up. Like I have a lot in here and I keep these packed up all the time. So when I'm traveling for a trip, I really just have to pull them out and I just make sure that I have ample quantities for whatever length of stay of the contents and then I'm good to go. I don't have to pull things out every time. So that's really, I love those so, so, so much. Um, and they just pack up great and they're easy to fit into luggage um, because they're soft sided. Now, if you're worried about your cosmetics, uh, I don't travel with a lot of makeup or anything that I'm worried about really like exploding. I, I should also mention these tubes, I suppose, because I've, I've really enjoyed these. They're the Human Gear Go Tubes and I have these in a couple different sizes, but this is the size I use most often. I have not had an issue with these leaking ever. I've been using them for several years now over a variety of trips and I love them, especially since I've been trying to buy less things like this like over and over again. I'm just using this up, but now when I have a bigger one, I just decant it into this. So I'm buying less plastic bottles as much as possible. I really like the go tubes. I feel like they work great. They also have a, a smaller size. I think they have a couple of other things, but I only have those two sizes. Um, so those are great too for your um, toiletries, personal care items. Lastly, I, this is personal care to me. It, it, maybe it's an accessory, I'm not sure. But my Jade Travel Yoga Mat now travels with me everywhere I go. Before I had babies, I brought this with me occasionally, depending on the trip and what the kind of vibe of the trip was. Since I've had kids, I, I haven't prioritized doing yoga while traveling, especially with infants. It's just hard to find the time. Now that my kids are slightly older and they take predictable naps, I try to keep up with my daily yoga habit. I have in for the whole of this year, 2019, I have made daily yoga a priority. I would say I've stuck to it 98.5% of the days. Um, so that's, you know, most of them. It's only on very rare occasions that I don't do my yoga and I even do it while traveling when possible. This is great. I think altogether it weighs two pounds, I believe if I'm remembering the specs right. And it folds up really nice and compact. So I just put this on top of my um, my open suitcase like on top of whatever I have packed in it and then I close the suitcase and it works out fine because it, it folds really flat. I really like jade yoga mats. I have since 
bought myself a Manduka, which I'm very much enjoying, but Jade was the yoga mat I used for a decade before that. And this travel yoga mat is great because it's very thin. It's only an eighth an inch thick thickness to make it lightweight and packable, but it's got a lot of grip to it. Um, so I love, love, love it for that. And to me, it's essential. I don't bring that many things you know, for like downtime for myself on trips anymore because they're just, that's just not the season I'm in. But I make room for this yoga mat because that's how I reconnect. And maybe it's only a 10, 15, 20 minute practice, but it makes a huge difference. To me, it's worth the space and the weight that the mat takes up. I don't practice well when I don't have a non-grip surface. Is that, is that the right word? When I don't have a yoga mat to practice on, I just find it very difficult. I've tried practicing on towels and things like that. It's just hard to really let yourself get into it when you feel like you're sliding. So I would be remiss if I didn't include that in my travel favorites. Okay, so let's get into the actual luggage. I love, love, love our Samsonite Omni hard-sided luggage. I bought two sets of three. Uh, I think it was two or three years ago now. I think it was the right one. Maybe it's three years. So we've traveled with these quite a bit. The set that I purchased comes with three bags, a carry-on size, a medium size, and then a very large size. We use the very large and the medium size is the most. Honestly, we rarely, if ever, use the carry-on size at this juncture because it's just not practical with the amount of baby gear and things that I like to travel with that I feel comfortable traveling with, but maybe down the road we can do more carry-on only sorts of things. Um, and we generally travel as, you know, a pack. Um, so it's not like one of us traveling without the others very often. It is so loud, I'm sorry. I, I'm guessing you can hear that. Anyway, these are great. They have spinner wheels. They're pretty lightweight considering they're hard-sided. It's been a few years, so there's probably newer things on the market that might be lighter and more durable. I mean, the durability I think can't be beat because we travel quite a bit and our bags get tossed around a lot and they have held up great. And um, I love the, uh, we have the teal color so it really, really stands out on the carousel when the bags are coming down. Um, I mean, I think, I think they're great. And it's a really good price for three bags. I think it's like $260 or something like that for three bags. It's a really good price. I just looked and that was the price online. I think I paid something like that too. Now to pack them in, of course, I love packing cubes. Packing cubes are packing game changers. I've been talking about them for as long as I've been on YouTube and longer because I loved them before I started YouTube. So, you know, it's been at least nine years since I've been talking about packing cubes. To me, they just make packing so much more efficient, more organized, and easier. I tend to pack by category um, into the cubes, and that kind of helps me stay organized where when I get to my destination. And even with, you know, in the last, I don't know, five, 10 years, there's been more issues with bed bugs and things like that, and people being worried about that. I even like will slide my packing cubes into the drawers of wherever we're staying with just the top open and it keeps my clothes and my family's clothes in the packing cubes but still easily accessible and just makes it really easy. So I've used Eagle Creek packet cubes for a long, long time and they are great. They are like the gold standard. But it's a pretty simple concept when you think of it and you can find really good deals on Amazon for very similar concepts for a fraction of the price. So this set by Bagale, I think it is, I got two sets of these, one for each kid in different colors. So Donnie's, is, Donnie's are teal and Cece's are purple. Uh, I think it was set of six for $25. That is a lot less expensive than the Eagle Creek ones. And this, I really like this set because it comes with a really good size. It's this really big size. I think it comes with two of those. Yep, two of those big ones. And then two of these medium sized ones. And then two of these kind of long skinny, skinny ones. And they're great. These are also things that you can throw in your washing machine. I would probably air dry them. You can even air dry them in your dryer if you have that function, which I think most dryers do now. Um, really wonderful. I know that Eagle Creek has different kinds of packing cubes. They have their really, really fine, like ripstop nylon ones that are very, very um, compact and lightweight. They also have ones that are more water resistant. So if you're looking for something a bit more 
special specialized i don't know what the right word is you might want to look there but for the price for just a good old-fashioned packing cube you cannot cannot beat those and that's not the only brand on on amazon that sky's the limit just tap in type in packing cubes on amazon and you'll see but i really these these are the ones i've tried and i really really like them and then last but not least for luggage a good carry-on bag is essential all the time. And over the years, I've talked about lots of different carry-on bags. My Lululemon backpack was a trooper and stayed with me for a decade. I still have her, she's great. The purple, the bright purple bag still works fine, has no issues, has no, shows no sign of like super wear on it, no holes or shredding or anything like that. So it's something I'm holding on to, maybe my daughter might wanna use when she's a little bit older or we might need a backup backpack at some point. But I have this girl now, my Toomey Carson backpack. This is like the grown up backpack. This is the grown, the grown ass lady backpack, excuse my language. I love her so much. I have traveled with this bag twice, now, three times now, and I love, love, love it. It fits just as much as that big old Lululemon backpack. It somehow looks smaller. It's not smaller, but it looks smaller somehow. And it's just sleek and wonderful. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I have a little Christiane Designs Llama pin on there, you know, to kind of make it my own. But I did a whole video uh, showing you guys what I pack in my carry-on. I will throw up in a card for you if you want to see how I pack her. But I got to say, it's so comfortable. And I use her for more than just travel too. We went to Wrigley Field not too long ago to take the kids to their first Cubs game and I brought this bag. It got a little bit of applesauce on it, so I need to figure out how to clean it, but it's nylon, so I'm pretty sure if I can't just surface clean it, maybe it's something I can throw in the washing machine on delicate and then air dry. I'll look into that. I'm not sure about that because it has um, poles that I don't think can be washed in that way. Nylon is super easy to surface clean usually, so that that is my favorite carry-on now <laughs> and that I have had up to this point for sure. Food has always been an essential part of my travel. If you've been watching my packing and travel videos for the last nine years, I always have snacks. I always make sure I'm prepared in that way. I think the worst thing, maybe not the worst thing, but one of the least fun things is to be hungry without something you feel like you want to eat when you're traveling. You never know when you can get stuck somewhere. You never know when something might take longer. You just don't know if you're gonna find something that you can eat or want to eat wherever you go. This has become even more important since having children. I pack so many snacks now, and let me tell you, it might seem excessive to some, but we eat those snacks. And even if we don't eat them all on our journey, we'll eat them at our destination. Most of the time, we eat most of them on the journey, and that's how I know I'm packing the right amount, just have just a little bit left over. So what makes it easier to transport all these snacks are the EC lunch totes. They used to come in a smaller size, which I still love. They don't offer those anymore. I think it'd be nice if they offered both sizes because that's a nice kind of personal size. But now they have these bigger lunch totes and these are a neoprene um, material. So they have a little bit of insulation to them, which is nice. I, I noticed that when I have a cold pack in with it, it keeps it pretty cold in there, which is great without it being like a huge cooler thing and they pack up really light and small. So when you're not using it, it's just easy to toss in your luggage or whatever, or just to have on the go, even if you're done with all the stuff in it, you can just put it in your backpack. I always have my own travel containers, so that's a little bit less, I don't know. I don't mind carrying this around, <laughs> let's just put it that way. So I have this one, but I also have this really super pretty personalized one um, that I got for myself that I, I just love the Aaron Condren and Paisley design. These are great. And of course, we always fill them up with snacks. For my kids, these snack cups have come in super, super handy. When I'm traveling with snacks, I usually pack in the lunch tote. I have those like Ziploc um, or Glad, I think also makes them little kind of Tupperware containers that I reuse over and over again. I don't buy them and then toss them. I reuse those as if they were regular Tupperware. I know they're marketed to be, you know, something you can use temporarily, but you can wash them just like any Tupperware. They're really nice. So I'll use those and also my ReZip um, reclosable snack bags in different sizes, which I love. 
These I love when we are in the car with the kids. Because first of all, to keep the snacks contained, if you're not familiar with this design, it's this kind of thing where it's got this bit of material on the top that the kids can stick their fingers in to get the snack out. The snack won't come like flying out when your kids are inevitably flinging them all over the place. It's genius. My kids love the mini peanut butter cracker sandwiches, so I usually have them stocked up with them. You could put Cheerios, goldfish, whatever in there as long as the snack is at least a little bit bigger than the slits and i mean not much is getting through there i wouldn't put liquid in there obviously it's not gonna hold liquid but i usually pack these in our luggage um because I, I don't bring them on the on the plane normally because it's just a bulkier thing to carry and when we're sitting so close to each other on an airplane i don't mind holding open you know a little resealable bag for them or whatever but when we get to our destination and we're in the car and i know they're going to be hungry again because they're constantly hungry when we're traveling especially i pull these out of our luggage and i have them ready to go with a different snack than we had on the plane and it keeps them occupied in the car depending on how long it takes to get to our destination something that i've gotten into the habit of doing in the past year or so is bringing my own water bottle on my journey so I love Hydro Flask. I use a Hydro Flask at home to drink out of. I basically don't use glasses. Um, I use this 40 ounce Hydro Flask that I bought when I was nursing. It's really nice to have 40 ounces available to me. With a nurse, you know, nursing a baby, you get so thirsty, and it's nice not to have to worry about running out of water when you're nursing. So I love my Hydro Flask. Obviously, I'm not going to travel with this. It's really big. I want something that will fit in a cup holder. I want something that can fit into the side of my carry-on bag. Has the, my backpack has a little place for that on the side. I want something that's easy to travel with. So I have this 20, I think it's 21 ounces technically, Hydro Flask with the standard mouth, um, that's what they call the standard mouth opening at the top. Um, and then I just separately bought a sports cap for it. It also comes with just like a regular cap if you prefer to drink it like that. I prefer this because it just makes it a little bit more accessible if I need to you know, have a drink of water with one hand instead of unscrewing a cap, which I need two hands for one to hold the bottle and one to unscrew the cap. I can literally, like, you push this down, it seals the bottle. I can literally just open that with my teeth and then drink out of it with one hand. Tell me, it comes in handy when you have kids. So I fill this up at the airport. Most airports now have, like, water bottle filling stations. You can also just use the traditional um, watering fa water fountain not a watering fountain, but I also have Hydro Flasks for my kids, which they do use at home. Um, but I'm going to tell you how many different kids water bottles I have traveled with, probably three or four different kinds that I thought were tried and true brands that I wouldn't have to worry about. Camelback, Contigo, um, those are the two I can think of the names off the top of my head. Just those like even skip hop one with the little um, cap. The thing is when you're on the airplane and the pr air pressure changes depending on your, um, you know, your ascent and your descent, somehow the water just always leaked out of those. It would somehow come up through the straw and just, even if nobody's, you know, it's supposed to be sealed in there, it still came up. That does not happen with these doesn't happen with the clean, uh, these aren't clean canteen, with the Hydro Flask ones. Um, so we use these at home, we use these on the go, we use these when we travel. Um, so they have, if you want extra security, you can flip the um, straw top down, but I found even when they are open and we are going through the air pressure changes, the water doesn't come dribbling out the top, which is really nice. Um, so I really, really love those. And then of course we also use them at our destination. Last but not least, I thought I'd tell you about a few of my favorite travel activities for the kids at their current ages. My son is 18 months old now and my daughter is three and a half. She is the one that um, really entertains herself the best on the airplane, but my son is starting to transition into that. Before he was mostly a baby and he would sleep or just need to be, you know, kind of held and, and entertained by me engaging him in um, you know, really simple things like rattles and soft-sided books and things like that, which are all great. But, but now he's getting to the point where he wants to do activities just like her. So these are a few of her favorite activities that I thought I would share with you as of late. These little Disney princess dress-up tins from, I think it's Magnetic Tin Fun is the brand, um, are great. They come in all the different princesses. 
you punch out the little outfits. They, it's a very strong magnet. They stick well to the inside of the lid. And then what you do is the dress up. You can dress up Cinderella like so, see? And you can dress up Princey Boy here. Um, it's pretty hard to do showing the camera apparently. I'm not talented at this. Like so, she loves these. These will keep her entertained for a long, long time. And Donnie loves playing with these too. Um, and he doesn't even just eat the pieces anymore. I don't have to worry about that as much anymore. I used to worry so much about him eating the little magnets. He doesn't put things in his mouth quite as often anymore, which is nice. The same company, I think it's the same company, it's, at least it's a similar concept, makes a bigger version that comes in different. We have a Noah's Ark one, we have a, a Mickey Mouse one. I think we have a Curious George one that's new that I haven't shown the kids yet. These are good for the plane. They're a little bit bulkier. What I like about these tins is they're really, really small. These are a little bit bulkier, but what I do with these is I usually pack these in our luggage to bring as activities when we get to our destination. So they come with all the different pieces. Again, that you just punch out of a sheet. Um, it's really easy. It takes like a second to do. And then you have them all already done. And the kids love these. Both kids love playing with these. They come with an additional scene just on paper so you can spread it out a little bit on the floor it's such an easy toy to bring with you really not very heavy does not take out much room and really great and like i said they come in lots of different designs and scenes and whatever and then of course we always have coloring stuff i always have stickers it's like standard in my bag and crayons and things but what cc and donnie have both been really into lately is these water activities so there's the water wow, which is great. It's a little bit bulkier though, just because of the packaging design. It's not bulky, really, but it's bulkier than this. I found these on Amazon. Um, they're comparable in price. My daughter, you can see, has really loved this first page because she's pressed so hard that the, it started to rub off. But the rest of them are okay. So what you do is you get this little pen, comes with it, and you fill this with water. Of course, we wait till we are through security to do that. Um, otherwise, you could put it in your you know, your 311 security safe bag or whatever you have to do these days. You just put water in it and then you color and it, the, the picture comes to life. And then it dries within a couple minutes all on its own and that's it, you can keep reusing it. So these come in a couple of different ones. We have a, like a farm one and then we have this fairy one. Both kids really, really love that. And that, my friends, is my travel favorites for summer, as of this summer. I was kind of thinking this would be a fun series to do again, maybe next year or the year after, if things change or if they don't, I don't know. Um, but I know as my kids get older, they will want different, they will have different needs on things to travel with. Um, but anyway, this is this stuff, a lot of these things, aside from the newer things like the kids' things and my new carry on backpack that I love our tried and true favorites that I've been using for at least a couple of years, if not longer, and totally recommend them to um, anybody interested to enhancing their traveling experience. Because um, I think being organized and prepared and packed, well packed, really does make a difference in your travel experience. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope your August is off to a really great start, and I will see you real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.